Joining me now is actress Louisa Klein. Louisa, thank you very much indeed for joining me. Um, many, thank you so much for having me. Many Jewish families in the United Kingdom are fearful in all sorts of ways, aren't they? Uh, head teachers of Jewish schools are telling their pupils, don't wear your uh, school blazer with a badge on it on the bus. People are, are walking their children to school. People are very frightened. Tell me how Absolutely. you're feeling about this and particularly why the history of your family. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's it's a really frightening time for the Jewish community in the UK, the diaspora Jews across the world. I feel we, um, my my personal feeling, my whole Jewish identity is so enwrapped around my childhood, which is I am the second generation. My mother was a, survived the Holocaust, so for me, this is in the Holocaust is living memory for me. It is in my family's lifetime. And um, it's interesting, I read a tweet today which said, I've always struggled to understand how the Holocaust could have happened. But today, in 2023, I understand. If Hamas had the capability to kill six million Jews, they would. And it sort of, it struck me that I feel like I've taken on something of never again. You know, I look at my mother and I look at my, my Dutch family and I think to myself, never again. And suddenly we're seeing it happening again. And the fear of bystanders turning a blind eye. And that's what's frightening. And, and, and do you feel as if Jews in this country are being supported by the government, by the people who need to support us, by the police? And we've just heard Rishi Sunak's making £3 million available for reinforcements or extra security staff or whatever is needed to make sure that Britain's Jews are safe as they simply go about their business. Yes, I feel like there is a support within the government and on a large scale in the country. I suppose the feeling that I have is amongst Socially, you know, walking down the street, um, it's a sorry state of affairs that it is now we don't even notice the security outside Jewish schools or the security outside of synagogues. This is normal for the Jewish community. Um, but now I was at the vigil the other day down in um, near Downing Street and there was an incredible sense of unity, but there was also an incredible sense of tension and anxiety. And any time you heard a motorbike go past or uh, somebody making a noise that was slightly louder, you could feel the physical tension of a group of people nervous and understandably so, because within a mile of that vigil, there was a, a demonstration, a protest outside the Israeli embassy that was aggressive, that was violent, that had people in masks, that had police sort of presence that was huge. Have you, have you felt all your life a certain sense of anti-Semitism or racism or potential danger as you've just lived your life, as you've grown up, as you've played with friends, yeah. as you've gone to school and whatever? Or, or is it, has it been so, so incredibly exacerbated over the last few days that you're feeling something now you've never felt before? Yeah, it's an interesting question, Vanessa. I um, I spent my life hiding being Jewish. I grew up in a non-Jewish area. And um, so I, I've always hidden being Jewish. And it's only been, you know, the last 10, 15 years that, that I've sort of come out as a Jew and been proud of my Jewishness. And um, I live in a Jewish area in London. And so there is a community feeling that we look out for each other. But recently, I do feel more nervous. I feel like I have to be much more on guard. I feel like I have to protect my children more. I don't want them going off by themselves in big shopping centers. I don't, um, I, I wear my mug and David and I, I suppose I am conscious of that now. That's the star of David. Louise, so good to have you on the program. Thank you very much indeed for joining us.